and the whole design um, is trying to be metaphoric and symbolic of um, the kind of generative forces that grow out of those of those disciplines, math and science. So much of what's created in the world today is utterly dependent on the work of mathematicians and scientists. The College of Sciences and Mathematics' new $40 million Sciences Center is impressive in terms of size, scope, and cutting-edge facilities. But a closer look reveals two unique icons that have been incorporated in the complex that fuse the disciplines of science and art. Artist Gary Wagner and Joanna Blake talk about the freeze titled Continuum, commissioned by Dean Stuart Sneller. Well, from the very earliest conversations with with the architect and with and with Dean Schneller, um, it seemed most appropriate to use terracotta, which would um, blend so nicely with the with the facade of the building. Just historically, uh, on this campus, because. Hargis Hall and, and Sanford Hall and some of the really the old beautiful buildings on campus have terracotta ornament on them, architectural terracotta embellishments, and so it would be a way to tie it back into the um, some of the more historical buildings on campus. I've taught ceramics at Auburn now for 25 years and never made anything out of that much clay all at once, so it, it was interesting. It started out with three tons of clay that we had to mix and compact and place on the easels before the, the carving began and, and plane off to make a consistent surface and so on. So when it came time to bring it up here for installation, that part was pretty straightforward. We did get up on the scaffolding with the, with the masonry contractor, with the installer and um, work over the details a little bit of placement and spacing and alignment and so on to make sure all that fell into place just as it should. With installation of the freeze complete and gracing the entrance to the two-story Sciences Center classroom building, it was time to consider if there were other opportunities to further incorporate the artistic talents of Wagner and Blake, creating a unique and engaging Sciences Center learning complex. Um, the, the Dean um, did mention that he had another project he wanted to, to discuss with us, but he also said that he didn't want to divide our thoughts and energies too much while we were working on this big project. So just about the time we tied this one up, he mentioned that he had another project of interest. And so then we began um, discussing the, the Mosaic project and, and its possibilities. In, in the beginning, we were trying to decide with the Mosaic whether to work with um, you know, there's several different traditional mosaic media. There's glass, um, there's ceramic tile, there's, there's glazed and, and unglazed ceramic, and, and what we ended up using is, is marble. Just the subtleties and variances, the beauty of color in the, in the um, marble is just unsurpassed and, and made for a much more attractive finished product, I think. But it was also more difficult to work with than any of those other um, materials that are traditional to mosaic. You have to saw it with a diamond wet saw. You can't um, just cut it with little tile nippers like you can with glass or ceramic. So it was pretty exacting and tedious work to put all those little pieces together. But it was rewarding to work with such a beautiful and attractive material as well. I like the fact that students are actually walking right across that thing. Um, you know, Joanne and I have both been in Italy and seen the, the ancient pavements, marble pavements, and the cathedrals and so on. And, and um, it's nice that it's just incorporated so completely into the experience of the space that it's not something that's um, just sort of stood back from and, and, and viewed, but actually walked across, stepped on, I think is an interesting aspect of it, that the student actually occupies the space of the artwork. It's, it's been really wonderful to have um, the Dean's confidence through this range of projects that's tested us as, as artists. It's really a wonderful opportunity.